What's up, people of YouTube? This is Captain Louis. Um, for the first video, we're going to talk about the basic of uh, competitive gameplay. And uh, we're going to start from the beginning. So we're going to start with the roots. Um, let's take, for example, um, something like that. A baby, a toddler. First thing that you will probably do uh, as a human being is start to walk. And walking will be difficult and it's mainly due to control and uh, balance and this is exactly uh, where we need to start you know we need to start to make sure as an individual not as a team we're just gonna start there just as a simple person do you have control of your game and what I'm talking right there is um, if you're playing an RTS do you know your macro do you know everything that you need to know for your control to make sure that you can exactly build uh, the um, structure you can carry on the units that you want exactly with the simple stroke key if you're talking about an fps uh, such a call of duty gonna strike battlefield is that your sensitivity is quite right and this sounds you know most people would say well that's obvious i have it or i don't have it well it's not that simple um a lot of people think they have it uh and they don't that's simple as that if you can't make that shot uh 90% of the time, if your aim is a bit too much to the right, too much to the left, but you're saying to yourself, well, that's my margin of error. You're not there. You have to be sure, you have to make sure that you are always right on the spot. And there's tool for that. Um, for example, Call of Duty, there's maps, uh, Counter-Strike, there's a lot of, of uh, workshop from the community. Um, uh, for RTS, uh, you can actually take control and build your own control to make sure that you are the most efficient possible. And you can go on community sh uh, channel, you can go on forums, uh, Reddit, uh, to make sure that you know you have the experience, you have the knowledge that you should have concerning uh, you know your control to make sure that when you're in the game that you absolutely have no margin of error about what you're doing, that you exactly plan and you exactly do what was intended from the beginning. This is the basic, guys. Is this is where it all starts? How is your sensitivity? How is your macro? How is your, you know, uh, uh, keystrokes? Um, everything starts from there. If you're not mastering this, uh, it is gonna be a pain to get on the ball. Because even if you have the knowledge of the gods, even if you know exactly all to put the smokes, if you half your half-life into jungle and you see another one coming on the dragon knight and you're saying to yourself yeah i know exactly what he's gonna do and i can beat him if if you can't pull the controls out you will just end up as a failure it's very important in mmos you have to make sure that you use the right skill at the right moment etc etc um like i said probably most of you are gonna say well i know my shit well i'm gonna give you a tool there is um a, a sensitivity calculator for those who plays fps uh, that will actually be able to convert uh, your sensitivity from one game to another. Um, I'll be honest, uh, it's uh, most common that people use low sensitivity. Uh, it means more harm strokes, uh, but it also means better accuracy overall. It's harder to do 180 uh, headshots, but you can still pull off twitch shot quite easily. Um, that being said, uh, I'm gonna basically just maybe put the link for the walk workshop that is most interesting for me. Um, the second thing that I want to talk about is another thing that is quite easy, is your setup. For example, if you're, um, you know, sitting on a chair, on a PC chair, uh, you want to make sure you're comfortable. Uh, it's, it's all sorts for there. You don't want to play and you don't feel comfortable. You feel maybe restrained or you feel like your keyboard is not adapted to it or you feel like your monitor could use an upgrade because you're not having uh, that kind of perception, the colors are like uh, gray on a scale, a bad, on, a, on a bad gray scale, uh, or your mouse is just buggy as fuck. Um, you know, there is, uh, it's all about the setup. Um, I'm gonna post um, a video uh, with my setup and the, the setup of my girlfriend uh, to show two different kind of behaviors. And uh, this is where, uh, you know, you don't have to trouble your mind to say, okay, am I comfortable? Do I have enough room? You have to build yourself a proper gaming where you're comfortable, where you want to play, and you feel like you can do anything from there. Uh, this is the basic, guys. We're we're starting this off, so I suggest you guys, uh, for those who are starting to play competitive, 
Um, work with your sensitivity, check out your macro, check out your fucking, you know, everything, your freaking sensitivity on your joystick if you want, if you're playing a racing game. Just make sure that you're exactly 100% certain of what you should be able to do and where you should be able to do. Like, I don't want any miss shots, I don't want to feel like you're not in control of what you're doing. You have to take control of the game. It is going to be your tool to victory. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for today. Uh, I told you guys, not long. Um, obviously, I can elaborate a lot more. Uh, but there is plenty of tools to help you guys. Reddit uh, is probably my main source, uh, as it is a good source of information. Um, but, you know, everything uh, that you can have as information is pretty good. So, let's stop here. Uh, the second one, second one will be a, a bit more elaborate, and uh, I'll link uh, the post into uh, the description of the video. So, that's it for part one, and take care, guys. Bye-bye.